Let's start first with the uh, with the third telco player. Ano ano status natin yon? Ah uh, yes, uh, the third telco player um, already got uh, approval from Congress, both Senate yeah, okay. and the lower. So the franchise their, uh, is open. Franchise uh, can now be transferred to the consortium, no? And um, now they are act, well asking uh, SEC, the Security and Exchange Commission, to approve that consortium. And um, from from what they say, they're going to get this by the end of this month. Okay. No? Or maybe early, next, well, first week of July. Um, when they do get that, and uh, they will have to post uh, a performance bond of, uh, as per billion. the uh, terms of reference, uh, the selection process, mm -hmm. uh, 25.7 billion. Uh, and that is when uh, NTC will grant them their uh, CPCN and the frequencies no, that they um, that will be awarded to them. Um, we are looking at maybe July 7, July 8 okay. for, for this um, uh, exchange, <laughs> sort yung, of exchange. Yung, uh, yung frequency. Frequency and, and the CPCN. Certificate of uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, CP, uh, public, uh, public convenience. Convenience Conven necessity. Mm -hmm. no? So um, once they get this, um, of course, they can now operate uh, as a telco no? um, with uh, the necessary frequencies. But even as we are speaking right now, in fact, about uh, more than a month ago, they already started rolling up, uh, rolling out their infrastructure. Now, starting, of course, in Metro Manila, Cebu, uh, Davao. And uh, that's why I'm saying that um, maybe before before the end of this year, they can now start, uh, their first subscriber will come from these places. Uh, 